This afternoon, Carl Burmeister walked out of the Tennessee State Prison a free man. His 99-year sentence for first-degree murder commuted by Governor Ray Blanton. Normally, no one would have noticed. Past governors usually commuted many sentences as they left office. But for two years, charges of political favoritism and more recently of bribery have plagued the Blanton administration's handling of executive clemency. Much of the controversy has centered on the governor's release of this man, Roger Humphreys, son of a Blanton political ally, convicted in 1975 of murdering his ex-wife and her boyfriend. Well, the only thing I can say is that I know that the people of Tennessee will never pardon Ray Blanton for his actions. During the past four weeks, the FBI has arrested three close Blanton aides in connection with an alleged clemency for cash scheme. Blanton himself was ordered to testify before a federal grand jury investigating the charges. Blanton denied knowledge of the scheme and fired the aides who were arrested. In this, his final week in office, he has ignored criticism, declined interviews, and remained out of sight. In Tennessee, the governor's power to pardon is absolute, but some lawmakers believe the power to reduce sentences is not. If commutation is statutory as opposed to pardon, then the legislature has the responsibility to set the standards for commutations. Meanwhile, the FBI has asked for copies of every commutation Blanton makes, and the grand jury has until March to decide whether or not to return indictments against Blanton and his former aides. Jim Travis in Nashville for ABC News.